So how do you shoot amazing time lapses with your Sony camera? Well, we're gonna show you the easiest, the fastest way to shoot a time lapse. And with Sony cameras, it is super easy. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it. I do that through gear reviews and tutorials. And today we're going over time lapses. You know, those slow, I guess it doesn't really go slow. That's slow motion, dum dum. The best way to shoot a time lapse with Sony camera is S and Q mode. If you're not familiar with S and Q mode, there's a dial on top of your Sony camera. You turn it all the way. It's usually above the video shooting mode and it's, you know, S and Q, stands for slow and quick. So you can shoot all your amazing slow motion and your quick speed stuff. The caveat with this is that you don't get audio. So, well, for time lapses, you don't care, but if you are shooting slow motion, you're not gonna be able to have audio. So you just gotta plan that in your head. I mean, I love shooting B-roll in slow motion in S and Q mode, just boom, boom, get the shot. I can look at the camera and see exactly what I get. That's another thing I love about shooting time lapses in S and Q mode. You just look at the camera and you can see your time lapse after you shoot it. And you can see if you need to wait around for another 30 minutes or <laughs> however long you, you decided to wait. I went to Disney Springs with Kyle Watts and shot a lot of this, this time lapses that you see here today. And the S and Q mode is just so convenient for that. If you have a Sony A7C or a Sony older Sony camera with the older menu system, you're just gonna click on the menu button and you're gonna go to tab two and you're gonna go down to SNQ settings on the first page. Now, if you have a newer Sony camera with the uh, the new awesome menu like my A7S III here, you're gonna click on the menu button, you're gonna go to that first red square on the, on the, on the left side, the shooting mode square, you're gonna click on that, you're gonna go to image quality, which is literally the first tab, and you're gonna scroll down to SNQ mode. The cool thing about the, the newer menu system and a lot of these newer cameras is you can shoot the quality you want for your video, so with bit rate, you can change all that, uh, with a lot of the older ones, you just get standard 8-bit uh, footage with that, but with these nicer new Sony cameras, you can even shoot in 10-bit for a lot of these slow and click modes. So just, just check it out, it's awesome. So now that you're in the slow and click mode, regardless of whatever system you are on, you have two options to choose from to get your footage into whatever time-lapse mode you want. You got your record settings, which I leave it at 24p. Maybe you're one of those people that edit in a 30p timeline, but you know, get it to whatever you're gonna edit in. Most people will probably be 24p. And then your S and Q frame rate will choose how fast or slow you want the footage to be when render it down. And you can do 120 frames per second. Obviously, that's gonna be slow motion and not a quick time lapse. But you scroll all the way down the bottom, you can go to one frame per second, two frame per second, four frames per second. Really, it depends on what situation you're in or how long you're willing to sit there and wait, you know, where you where you're at. So maybe you might want to shoot uh four frames per second or you know eight frames per second uh, obviously i'd keep it in the lower numbers to get even more of that mo movement in, in your uh frame rates but anyway you can always speed it up to get the similar results but if you don't want to sit there forever you know you do you you do you to make it easier to access and not have to go into the menu system all the time you can put your s and q frame rate into your function menu to quickly assign a shooting speed. If you have an older menu system like the A7C, you can go push the menu button, go to the second purple movie tab, then go to page nine, the custom operation one page, and then you scroll down to the function menu set. And then go down to the movie mode function menu on the bottom. Then you would select a square that you want to assign your S and Q frame rate to, and then you'd scroll over to the movie page, um, which is page seven, then select S and Q frame rate. From there, you can go back to, you know, your regular main menu. And whenever you press the function menu, 
that should be there and you can from there assign your speed so it make, just makes it a lot quicker and you don't have to go through the menu. If you have a newer Sony menu system like the A7S 3 you would push the menu button, scroll down to the yellow setup tab, go down and select operation customization and then go to the FN function menu setting and go down to the movie mode function menu on the bottom. Select a square that you want to assign the S and Q frame rate to. Then go back to the first red shooting tab and go to number one image quality. Then select S and Q frame rate. From there, you can hit the menu button, go back to the main page, and you can see that when you press your function menu, you can then quickly get to your S and Q shooting modes. And I find this function extremely useful and uh, fast whenever you're on, you, you select your S and Q dial and you can quickly change your S and Q speed of choice uh, without having to go into the menu. One thing you have to remember when you're shooting these time lapses is to set your shutter speed accordingly. You still need to follow the regular shutter speed rule, double your frame rate for natural movement. However, as you can see here when we were at Disney Springs, we were shooting with a little bit of a higher of a shutter speed to get that motion blur called a long exposure time lapse. The higher shutter, you get the more motion blur that you will get in your footage. You can just play around with that. I believe we shot this at two seconds shutter speed with a one frame per second uh, S and Q mode shooting to get all this nice motion blur in our shot. You can always play around with it and see what works for you, what look you like the best, and what look you're going for. Whether you want a lot of that blur or whether you don't, uh, it's really up to you. That's just a note to self as you're uh, setting up your settings for your time lapses. But that's how you get quick time lapses. Shooting in SNQ mode, one frame per second, two frames per second, four frames per second, it is amazing. And that's what I did with all this footage that I've, you've been seeing here today. And it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it's awesome. So what are you doing? Now I told you the best mode for Sony cameras, all this, this slow and quick mode, well go out there and use it. Go, just go, stop watching this channel. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, sorry. Do all the fun YouTube-y things. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. I do multiple videos on Sony cameras and a lot of fun video shooting and photography stuff. So go down, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube-y things, and you guys know that I will see you in the future.